Hello friends. So this is the question which was asked in CSR December 2013 and this was a 4 marks question. Okay. But solving this question is very easy. I'll show you how. First let us read the question. Triptych digest of heptapeptide. Heptapeptide means a peptide made up of 7 amino acid. Okay. Built of 3 lysine, 2 alanine, 1 tyrosine and 1 phenyl alanine yielded tripeptide and a tetrapeptide. Which of the following is the correct sequence of heptapeptide? So in this question what they are telling is there is a 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There is a 7 sequence of peptide, 7 sequence peptide, heptapeptide. When it was digested by enzyme trypsin, it yielded a tripeptide consisting of 3 amino acid and a tetrapeptide consisting of 4 amino acid. Now they are asking us to analyze these 4 fragments and tell us which was the correct sequence of the hep heptapeptide. So we will start with, before starting with the options, the thing we should know about the enzyme trypsin is that it is a endopeptidases and it leaves at the C terminal of lysine and arginine and if this lysine and arginine is has this proline next to it then this trypsin will not leave it that peptide bond will not leave that peptide bond okay so here I have written these options in uh, I have like stretched made it a little bit bold so that everybody can see it and we can analyze it better so the first sequence the same sequence I have written it over here so what they are telling we have to digest this by trypsin and trypsin cleaves at arginine, arginine and lysine now here there is this lysine but trypsin cannot act on that because it is present at the end and our peptide is our trypsin is endopeptidases which means it has to act in between in between the sequence of amino acid not at the ends so it cannot act here so next let's see it's gonna attack here when it attacks here it will produce a pentapeptide and a dipeptide so but we want a tripeptide and a tetrapeptide so option 1 is ruled out it's not right so option 2 I have written it here so again this trypsin will cleave this peptide bond and produce a dipeptide and 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 do say for 5 and a pentapeptide so even this option is wrong and next option it cannot act over here trypsin because this is the end amino acid so trypsin will act here will attack this peptide bond and cleave it and produce one two three a tripeptide we have 3 amino acid and 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, a tetrapeptide. This option seems to be correct. But just to be more careful, we'll also analyze the option 4. So trypsin will cleave this peptide bound and produce 1, 1 2, 3, 4, 5, a pentapeptide and a dipeptide. So option 4 is wrong. So this leaves us with the right option, option 3.